MIBG stands for meta idyl benzoguanidine. It's a very long chemical name. Basically, we call it MIBG. MIBG therapy is currently mainly used for patients who unfortunately have either relapse or refractory disease. Because of its success in that setting, it is now being moved upfront to treat patients with high-risk neuroblastoma during that first six months of what we call induction chemotherapy. As Radiation Safety Officer, my team and I are responsible for making sure that the use of radioactive material at Texas Children's Hospital is as safe as possible. For MIBG therapy, the patient receives a significant amount of radioactive material, so they must be admitted to the hospital. Since they must be admitted to the hospital, we need to prepare the room for admission. To do this, we will paper the room to cover all the flat surfaces. We'll handle all the radioactive waste generated during the stay, and we will decontaminate and clear the room once the patient has been discharged. This room looks like any other isolation room on the floor, except for one difference. It has a very large lead-lined door with a mechanical closure device. When you walk into your room, you'll notice that the bed may have some plastic wrapped around the rails, the bathroom may have plastic on the sink or on the toilet, anywhere that you may touch. MIBG is excreted via your spit or your urine. We have plastic on these things so that we can prevent any uh, radiation from being stuck to the equipment in the room. Our MIBG suite is nice in the sense that our patient room and our parent room are back to back right next to each other. There's a window between the two rooms where the parents can view the child, the child can view the parents the entire time, as well as an intercom system in between the two rooms so the parent and the child are constantly in direct communication. The parent room also is a full room, so the parent room also has a shower, a full bed, and a couch, so it's a very comfortable experience for the parents to be able to stay. During your child's stay, you're more than welcome to go in and attend to your child's needs whenever they need you, but we're going to ask that you stay in your parent room as much as possible to limit your exposure to the radiation. So as anybody leaves the MIBG room, we ask them to survey themselves for radiation exposure. So what that entails is we have a wall-mounted Geiger counter, so people will put their feet on that. We also have a wall-mounted hand Geiger counter, so people exiting the room will place their hands on this Geiger counter. In addition to that, we have a wand, very similar to a metal detector wand, which will ask people just to run across their arms, their torso, and their legs to see if there was any contact to MIBG fluid. When you walk into the isolation suite, the first room you enter is the ante room. The ante room is where the nurse or the parent will put on all of their isolation equipment prior to walking into the patient's room. The medical staff will wear an isolation gown and gloves when entering the room, just like they would when entering any other isolation room. The one difference is they'll be asked to wear shoe covers and an electronic dosimeter. The average length of stay for a patient after MIBG will be about four to five days. The biggest problem that we're going to face is boredom for the patient. All of our patients as part of their initial MIBG consult will meet with one of our child life experts. And our team in conjunction with the child life team is going to come up with an individualized entertainment plan for each patient so that we can be sure that their stay is as comfortable as absolutely possible. During your stay for your treatment of MIBG, we're going to recommend that you not bring anything that cannot be replaced, like a special levy or a blanket. MIBG is excreted through your urine and any other bodily fluids, and if those types of things got on your blanket, then we would have to send it to a storage facility um, until it could be released back into the public. What we do recommend that you bring to the hospital with you are things that can be thrown away after your hospital stay, so games or arts and craft items that you enjoy doing to keep you busy during your stay. MIBG therapy is tolerated very well. One of the side effects you will experience is low blood counts. A few weeks after treatment, you will have to receive some blood transfusions and platelet transfusions, but this isn't new to our patient population. MIBG therapy is very well tolerated. Some of the most common side effects are that patients can get swelling of some of the glands in the mouth, and that can cause a little bit of pain. If that were to happen, we have pain medicines that we could provide. So Texas Children's Cancer Center is one of the top, if not the top, children's cancer center in the nation. There's a lot of advantages for patients to receive their MIBG therapy here, one of which is our amazing bone marrow transplant team. After MIBG therapy, because MIBG makes it so that the bone marrow has a hard time recovering after treatment, patients need to receive their own stem cells back, and that can easily happen here with our wonderful bone marrow transplant team. 
My main message to families who are considering to receive their MIBG therapy here is that just know that we are going to take absolutely excellent care of both you and your child. We have a very diverse multidisciplinary team that's going to tailor each experience individually to the patient. Patients who have high-risk neuroblastoma undergo so many different treatment regimens and it's a very long treatment course. Patients often come from all around the nation for treatment. We understand that it's very difficult in terms of travel, being away from support systems, undergoing this therapy, and we help the families through our social work support, through lodging, housing, meal supplementation, so many different resources that we have available here to be able to help our families both before, during, as well as throughout their entire treatment course.